Hey, hey, it's new comic book day, but a little different. A new comic has dropped in DC Dual Force. This is one of my favorite aspects of this game is it takes actual comics and you kind of play through them a little bit. So I wanted to go ahead and share it here with you all, my comic fam, as we're here for the comics and this game really supports it. And I think that's super awesome. And mentioning of the community and how awesome the community it is, I'm going to try to also involve my DC Dual Force community into some Friday night fights here and there as well. So look forward to that. If you want more DC Dual Force content, check out my other channel. Link in the description below. DC Dual Force Academia. It'll be great. We'll have a lot of fun over there. But let's get into the comics because that's what you're here for. All right. Oh, the Menace Reverse Flash. A time traveler from the 25th century, driven by ego and spite, and fueled by pettiness. Bond calls himself the Reverse Flash, and harnesses the power of the Speed Force to travel to the present and do battle with our boy Barry Allen. Again. And again. Alright. After you activate a leader, give them evade. Cool. All right, you bard, what you got for me? Uh, I just got the reverse flash in a pack the other day. Very exciting about that. All right. Iris, booster gold, a little firepower. Good stuff. Only eight. It's not a lot. Let's. Just burst them down, I guess. Play the Dudley. Oh, good old Two Face. Oh, but he doesn't hit it. Circle back through history and summon a duplicate. Oh, so that's why he only has eight health. That's fun. That's super neat. A lot of lot. A lot of cool stuff here, I think. Alright, we'll ambush bug the two face down. We'll take out the main reverse flash. Drop an iris. Tack on one extra. Good stuff. The reverse flash. One of my favorite villains, but also just the flashpoint in general is one of the coolest comic events I think we've had. Um, obviously there's Crisis on Infinite Earths, which was a big deal, but it really feels like the Flashpoint has just been one of those that has just stood the test of time to, you know, through all of the reboots and everything that DC has, I just feel like the Flashpoint has stayed on, and even currently, it's still a thing as we're, especially through the Justice Society comics, as well as some other things, the Flashpoint Beyond, they're really hanging on to that storyline, which I think is really cool that we still are getting more Flashpoint content, like actively. So, it really has some staying power, which is neat. Alright, page one done. The Flash always won. So Reverse Flash struck at his nemesis before he could fight back. Aw, oh, little Barry. He struck when the, when the Flash was a child named Barry Allen. A child who could not protect his own mother. Oh, menacing. Central City, now. So Barry Allen grew up without a mother. Until one day, the world changed. Gotham City, now. Batman chases a figure across Gotham's rooftop. <laughs> this is Yo-Yo, Blackie of the Joker. Alright, issue two, per se. I think this is still on the first issue, though, but... All right, so we got the guard, we got the huntress, the misfit, the flash facts. That's so cool that they've kept around. That's a flash fact since the early days of Barry Allen. 
for those of you who don't know, The Flash at one point saved DC Comics. And I say that I could have let off the flashback, actually. And got two damage right, right away. For those of you that don't know, though, the Flash saved DC Comics at one point. At one point, DC was getting a little campy. And people were getting tired of comic books in general, especially with parents being tired of their kids reading it. Because comics for a while were really looked at as mm, almost a scapegoat that... that poisoned the minds of children. Comics were banned at one point. There was the whole ordeal of it was just kind of nasty. So in order to make the comics more educational, they revamped The Flash, actually introduced Barry Allen. This was the transition from Jay Garrick to Barry Allen. And in The Flash comics, it dealt with a lot of science stuff. Like, it would break down how the Flash does his feats in a real-world-based math problem and stuff. So, that way, when they did that, they couldn't... Parents couldn't be like, oh, well, my kid's not learning anything from these poisonous comics that are poisoning the mind of the youth today. And instead, comics became a more legitimate thing that kids could buy and actually save DC Comics. So that's super cool, I think. I think it's so... It's a good ending for a story that could have ended very poorly for the entire comic industry. And it's all thanks to Barry Allen. And since Barry Allen, we've moved on. Whenever The Flash was rebooted in 1987, we got Wally West. So we no longer had... We no longer had the Flash that we all knew and loved. We then got the man, the myth, the legend, the current Flash that we still have today, Wally West. Which, Wally is such a great Flash. He is... He's everything Barry was, but, you know, they allowed Wally to have a family and be a father and just kind of push it along what we want to see in spider-man to be honest but yeah where's the joker yo-yo doesn't know she's of no use to batman so batman throws her off the building this is not our bruce wayne central city police station barry allen has fallen asleep on the job again all units Pied Piper and Citizen Cold are engaged in a shootout outside the Cold Museum. This calls for the Flash. He flies into action. But trips down the stairs. Oh no, Barry. His speed is gone. When Barry recovers, a familiar figure stands before him. Mom? Oh, Barry. For a moment, that's all that matters. But soon he wonders. Where is he? His mother had never heard of the Flash or Superman. Or the Justice League. She had heard of Batman, though. So Barry Allen drives to Gotham City. As he drives, he learns about the bleak parallel Earth from the radio. The Athenians wage total war against the Amazons and pay no heed to the cost of surface lives. Emperor Arthur triggers a seismic event that submerges the western continental Europe, drowning tens of millions. If anyone can help Barry get home from this nightmare, it's Bruce Wayne. Wayne Manor seems abandoned. 
so Barry heads below. Into the bat cave. I love that Barry knows how to get here. My gun? It's like the Beauty and the Beast Rose. No. Oh. Survive six turns in the bat cave. Oh no. Oh Barry. Alright, what do we got here? Create a gadget in your hand. A couple work tables. Got some cobble pots. Move Barry and seek a bat cave obstacle. Alright. Cobble pot's not the most help, but we're about survival. Man, giving him two extra cards in this one feels bad, doesn't it? Joker send you. What? No. Let's see. Parting shot. Each player discards a card. Then you draw. When the Slagmite survives, it gets plus one things. Pretty gadget. I think we do this. We try to get something to hide behind. We'll play another cobble pot. Because we're going to want to hide behind that. Mm. Oh, Nightmare Nurse. That's alright. Just a 3-4. I'm a superhero. Like you, I'm the Flash. I'm the fastest man alive. I promise. I promise, Batman. I wonder if there's a world where you can finish off. So that's five, ten, and that was four. I wonder if we can just take out Bruce. Instead of survive, we thrive. I feel like that's not going to go the best, but... We'll just survive. We'll hang in there. Maybe we replay it. We try to take out Thomas Wayne in this one. So as I was saying... Wally West is now our Flash, and we do get a little bit of Barry here and there. We get Barry through the New 52 Justice League, which is good. We get Barry making cameo appearances in the Flash main run at this point. He did have a pretty sizable role in the One Minute War arc, which is really, really good. That was a very good arc, really fun time. So we Lightning Arc, and then Battering. We move Barry over here. Hide behind another thing. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to do this. Let's take out the arrow. Great. The One Minute War arc, though, um, if you're looking for a fun Flash comic to read, whenever that comes out in a trade, to just get the One Minute War arc, that'd be a really good introduction to, really, the whole Flash family. As they're just such a fun, it's just such a fun, easy, good, just comic book story. I highly recommend reading the One Minute War arc. It was really good. A lot of fun. Definitely want to hide that. And then the two enemies. I guess we can five and five. And then we're going to have to eat a little damage. I don't want to eat the damage, though. Hmm. Okay, we can put it on this. Yeah. Well, five and five. We'll give this the three. We'll take out... The Mr. Terrific. We'll get a gadget. Tear gas, really good. We'll take that. We'll let him wreck this. 
And then we'll use this to delay next round with the lightning arc. Oh yeah, just one more turn. Easy peasy. You can't catch me. I'm a regular speed man. I'm a regular dude. The nightshade. Alright. We have managed to survive. Look at that. Go Team Flash. Bruce, wait! Bruce is dead. Barry realizes this Batman is Thomas Wayne. Bruce's father. <gasps> the twist. A Batman inspired not by the death of his parents, but by the death of his child. A Batman without limits. And then Barry's mind explodes. His memories start changing. Oh man. This isn't an alternate Earth racked by war. This is real. This is his Earth. Someone has changed history. Barry spies a glint on the floor. The flash ring where he stores his costume. This will prove his identity to Batman. <gasps> but it's the reverse flash costume. His greatest foe must have warped history once again. For the first time in years, Batman feels hope. If history was changed once, it can be changed again. Maybe Batman can save his son. But to change history, they're gonna need a flash. And to make the flash... They need lightning. Oh, man. They did this exact scene in um, the Flash movie. Not that it was really good, but they really did use a lot of beats for the Flashpoint. That's better. Yeah, there we go, Barry. With his speed restored, the Flash sets out to find the missing members of the Justice League. Reverse Flash must have targeted his friends and teammates. He starts with Superman. Barry learned the rocket holding the baby Kal-El crashed into the center of Metropolis. 35,000 people died. The military secured the area and must have taken the child. To find Superman, they need to access the U.S. military files. Batman knows a guy. Of course he does. Cyborg. The United States' greatest superhero. The next day, Cyborg offers them a deal. He will help them locate this Superman. If the team they build will help stop the Amazons and Athenians. Atlanteans, sorry. The Flash eagerly agrees. Batman thinks anything but saving his son is a waste of time. New Metropolis. Is that to be rebuilt? Cyborg effortlessly hacks into the finals of Project Superman. He leads them to a hidden entrance. Oh, look at it. But the government will not let even Cyborg in without a fight. Alright. What do we got? Oh, we gotta keep the flashbacks. We have double flashbacks? We don't need that many facts. Too many facts bad. What do they do? 
Superman grunts in your empty spaces. Gives shield. Gets shield. Give your recruits invincible this turn. That's pretty good. So we'll draw. Nice. Green arrow with speed. That is sick. Oh my god. Broken. Protect Barry. Cyborg the same. Oh, okay. That's a little different. That's kind of cool. Do I think we take out... I don't know how good the grunts are. But Invincible is really good. Superman grunts. So that's what they are. They're five ones. Ooh, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Obviously, we gotta take that out. So we gotta save the arrow for when he fills the board. And then we'll just plunk them all. That is pretty good, though. We gotta take this out. Can't be letting no five one run around. Um, the flashpoint's interesting. I always think it is fun when we see anyone wearing the Superman in insignia that isn't Superman. Like, he has grunts, or, you know, he's evil and he's taken over everything. This, that, or the other. I always think that's such an interesting, like, concept. It makes for a good flip. So you, don't, you never want to see that Superman insignia on somebody, because it's just weird i don't know it doesn't feel right and i think that that's really cool that the superman symbol means so much to all of us that seeing it kind of used improperly is like oh it's like a shock shock to the system a little bit all right general adam pew, 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 pew. but a non is he gonna put? They just use that to use it? Alright. It's the pooter, it's okay. Alright. We'll rain some arrows. So it looks like he'll only get the shield once. Oh, I don't think Captain Cold's here, actually. Oh, yeah, he is? No, he must not be here. That's who they must have put into their deck. Go ahead and use Barry here. <laughs> Ready to race? We'll save Cyborg. We'll let him build a little bit more. I think we're going to replace Harvey with Firestorm. Just because. Oh, we had speed. Ah, we missed four damage. That's okay. It won't matter, it's just the PvE. But super fun though. Crypto! Good boy, Crypto. We'll just let Barry take out the Crypto. No need to get super fancy. So we'll four, five, seven, five. We'll just leave that up. We'll just take out this first and then clear all that. Oh, we can go and take this out. Yeah, we'll go and take this out. Why not? Little overuse of resource, but there's nothing wrong with that. Take out the shield. So next turn, we're going to have to deal with a bunch of five ones, that looks like. Oh, the power girl. Love this card. Oh, uh, we got the lightning arc. Go one to all. Clear it even. Or we deal three to it. 
Not that it super matters. We'll do this. Get the draw card, get the extra charges on Firestorm. Use the arrow. Use that. Pretty much wins the game. Easy peasy. Truth and justice? Nope. Whoa. Alright. Fun round. Fun game. Fun game. On to the next one. Captain Thunder. This is not the Superman the Flash expected. No, it's not. Freeze the pathetic figure. For the first time in decades, Superman sees the sun. He flies toward it. And disappears. There goes your big savior. Their time runs short. Cyborg shows Batman the misfit team he has gathered to defeat the monarchs of Atlantis and Themyscira. The rogues gallery. <laughs> Batman is underwhelmed. Thomas Wayne goes home. He feels nothing for Cyborg's quest to save the world. He will erase this timeline or die trying, but Batman needs permission. From the Joker. Do we know who the Joker is? Do you guys know? After Bruce Wayne died, two parents changed forever. Thomas Wayne becomes Batman, and Martha Wayne became the Joker. Spicy. So Thomas tracks down Martha, not to fight, but to ask a question. The Joker is predictably not in the mood to talk. Martha! Alrighty. That's a dope uh, picture. That would be a cool alternate um, leader skin to get Martha Wayne Joker. The bandage. Got the Lucius, gonna upgrade it all. We'll draw some cards, play some gadgets, do some Batmaning. Ah, the trickster. Bound by grief. What is this? Oh, I get it. Charger leaders give them plus two this turn. Oh, and it passes between them. How thematic. That's so cute. Oh. Look at this game having, like, thematic themes in their card play that go along with the story they're telling. That's almost like how it should be done. What a concept. That's a cool touch, though. That's a really cool touch. Man. Martha Wayne came to play, bro. She's not here just to play around. She's here for the She's here for my life. She is here for my life. Should I play the Lucius? Battering that down. Hit that. Hit face. Do we charge? No, we don't want to give it back to her. We're going to try to leg her out without that. We'll use it when we need it. We won't use it just to do face damage. Ooh, the cheetah. I hope when Wonder Woman's uh, comic comes back in, in the new 52, I hope they utilize the cheetah a little bit more. I feel like it's a cool character that just doesn't get utilized. We'll hit the button, though. Two batarangs. Alright, what to do? Do we draw? We definitely draw. 
All right, pretty good. Pretty good. We'll ping that. We'll ping that. I don't want to use my face because that's kind of a lot. A lot to come at us. We'll play the Huntress. The whole Wayne family, whole alternate Wayne family's here. Look at that. For those of you that don't know, the Huntress is Batman and Catwoman's daughter. So it's like stepmom action. <laughs> All right, some punchline, some zazz, some of that. Definitely this to this. We battering the zazz. We play the Shazam for sure. I don't think do we have to trade? We don't have to do anything. Definitely gonna do that. Maybe we just hit face. I mean it's just a single player thing. How bad could it get? How bad could it get? Yeah, we'll go ahead and I mean, worst case, that hits there. Hopefully it hits my face. Yeah. I think we're okay. It's just against the computer. How bad could it get? Alright, Martha. What you got for us? Not bad. We'll take that. Agent of Chaos. Summon a silver... Oh... Okay, there it is. Summon a silver anarchy recruit and give them plus three. That's really good. That could be a real card almost. Alright, um let's charge. We'll get the batarangs. We'll take them out. Hit the face. Easy peasy. Batarangs undefeated. Shazam! Nice. Sorry, Martha. And Bruce Wayne lived. If I can make it real, should I? Promise me you will. And then he tells her. What a good panel, guys. Their son should have been Batman. Spoiler alert! She runs. <laughs> she falls. Oh, and Bruce can't catch her. Oh, man. R.I.P. Martha. Batman returns to the other heroes with one thought in his mind. The Flash insists they join with Cyborg and his allies to save the world. But Batman believes only changing history matters now. Bruce would have helped. How to Anger Batman 101. Over the Atlantic. So the Flash and Batman join the final heroic push to stop the Atlanteans and the Amazons before they tear the world apart. To be continued. <laughs> 